Sing there, boy. Come on over. We should pass. Thanks for coming over. I know I don't look like much, not compared to you gorgeous things. But I'm what you call a shiverite. I spent 70 years in a pit, polishing joints, and I've had enough. I'm out for me now. I'm writing erotic poetry and painting stuff. I'm chasing life. Anyway, I know we just met, but I don't much like small talk. You and me, how about it? Take your pick, honey. By the way, the name's Little Sparrow. Feel free to call it out if the mood takes you. Yep, that was just as good as I thought it'd be. Thanks a bunch. I will never be able to unsee that. Never. wasn't always my name, as you might guess. I used to be Manipulation Automaton 45-A. Anyway, I spent years at work in a ruined factory, long after the bombs fell, because I had nothing better to do. Eventually, I thought, is this it? Is this life? So, I ate a pen. There was a billboard outside the factory. It had a lady eating a pen. And the look on her face, ooh, you could taste that look. I'd like to tell you it was a deliciously erotic experience. But honestly, it was a mess. Hair mash, ants, I won't go into detail. But that was when I knew I had to change myself. Become something new. I said to myself, manipulator, after 70 years of work, you owe yourself a little pleasure. So I read up on famous erotic poetry and modified myself for the purpose of sexual intercourse with beautiful creatures such as yourselves. One of my favorite poets is a human named Catullus. He used little sparrow as a euphemism for his reproductive organ. It sounds right, doesn't it? The words just run in you, like a fuse shorting out or an orgasm. I took the phrase as my name, so everyone can experience what I did. Can feel the thrumming inside when they call for me. Yep, did all the work myself. Pretty proud. You want to go back for more? Say the word. Yeah, sure. I got tons of the stuff. I dream of skin, of the nerves beneath, waiting, like embers, hungry for breath. I'm still working on that one. Probably gonna go with the fire metaphor. I don't know. I thought you'd never ask. thing I did. I call it mechanics stretch the gears. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to look you in the eye anymore, Chief. 